Yes, our topic for today is all about horizontal distances. So, these are distances laid on the ground or Earth's surface, or it is simply a distance between two points. So, let's get started. Let's start with pacing. So, what is pacing? This is a method of measuring a distance by simply walking and counting the numbers of the number of steps taken. So, it is a method that used for many purposes in geology, forestry, engineering, and agriculture under average conditions. A good pacer will have real difficulty in pacing distances with a relative precision of 1 over 200. Results could be attained within 1% of accurately measured distances. To pace a distance, it is necessary to first determine the length of one space. This is referred to as the pace factor. Okay, so this is hill and this is toe. So, when next start ka sa toe, you will end up with toe. So, from toe to toe, toe to toe, it means one pace. Okay, so toe to toe, one pace. While if heel to heel, it should be heel to heel, not heel to toe. Heel to toe, heel to heel. So one pace is from heel to heel. Okay, so you will count the number of steps or uh, number of pace from this, from first distance to. Or first point from first point to another point for example here is the illustration there is a man walking he is from point A and he is going to point B so from point A he is counting his steps towards point B and then after that, if the length or the horizontal distance of A to B, the HD over the number of pacing or the number of steps, he will get his pace factor. So the horizontal distances over the pace the paces that he had is equal to the pace factor okay so but the number of paces it must be you must have um five at least five trials okay so from point a to point b up to point b to point a then point A back to point B and point B back to point A. Five trials back and forth. Okay, so and then you will identify your average pace factor. Aver average pace. Set. So pag nakuha niyo yung mean na yon, ito na yon si P. Okay, so makukuha mo na si pace factor. Okay, so next is this one the distance by taping so after pacing we must know how to use the measuring tape or it or the taping the, me the method this is another method um, in determining the horizontal distances so taping consists of stretching a calibrated tape between two points and reading the distance indicated on the tape okay so for example dito sa um, illustration number two yeah, this is the illustration number one and illustration number two so um, the two men yeah, 
they are measuring the horizontal distances along the ground. And so this is HD, horizontal distances. Distance, horizontal distance. So from point A up to point B. Okay, this is a straight line. We will consider that this is straight. Yeah. And then another one, the other, the first illustration, um, um, along the sloping ground. So yeah, and this is the ground. And pababa, sloping down. Yeah, and so from this man up to this man, so the horizontal distance is this one. That's the horizontal distance. So we will call it horizontal distance. And then this is the point A and then this is the point B. Okay, so this one, yan. Magkakaroon tayo dito ng um, 90 degrees. It must be 90 degrees. Yan. So this is the slope of that um, sloping ground okay so that the horizontal distance this one so while using the tape you can determine the what is the measurement of the, from point a to point b and then also from here this one from point a to point b you will determine the measurement the horizontal distance of the horizontal distance okay and so for our first sample problem, distance by pacing. So a 45 meter course AB on level ground was placed by a surveyor for the purpose of determining the space factor. The number of paces for each trial taken are shown in the tabulation. Requirements. So first is space factor. And then, maya, balikan natin yung other requirements so and these are the given and as you can see these are the given and so there are six trials na ginawa ni Atigurd for example this is Atigurd and then from point A up to point B from point A up to point B meron siyang number of paces na 50 so 50 naka 50 siya then pa, 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 from point B to point A bumalik siya naka 53 siya and then and so on 51 bumalik ulit siya balik bumalik ulit siya sa B sa A and then balik ulit siya and then and so on so up, up to 6 trial para malaman niya yung phase factor and then so the first thing that we need to do is to know the mean what is mean? the mean of the number of phases so all of these para makuha natin yung mean is to sum up all of these divided by the number of trials So, 50 plus 53 plus 51 plus 53 plus 52 plus 53 divided by 6 trials and we will get the 52 cases. Then the solution. So, to identify the, to, to measure the, I no, to calculate the base factor, we must know the tape distance. So, the tape distance is given or it is simply the measured distance. 45 meters. Hindi naman nagbabago yung distance na nilalakaran ni Ate Girl from point A to point B even pagbalik niya from point B to point A because same location pa rin. And then, yun, tape distance over the mean. So, we calculated the mean at 52 paces. So, we simply get the her piece factor this one 0 
84 meter. So, yan. So, the first requirement is done na tayo. So, the second requirement is the sur surveyor then took 72, 771, 770, 768, 770, 772, and 769 paces in walking an, an unknown distance. What is the length of the line? So, let's start with, start with, um, the, there are six trials because this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So, taken on line C. And then, the next one is, yeah, so, the mean, 771 plus 770, and so on, divided by six, there, are 770 pieces. So, ang, ta ang tanong, what is the length of the line? So, that's the question, what's the length of the line? So, para makuha natin, yan. So, the pace dis distance is equal to mean times pm. Okay, so, pace distance is different from pace factor because pace distance is uh, the horizontal distance comes from the base factor. So, you need to multiply the base factor times the mean. Okay, so, from the given, uh, no, we solved it already. The base factor is 0 0.8654 multiplied by 770 pages equals 666.35.80. Assuming that the state length of line CD is 667 meters, that I mean the relative precision of the measurement performed. Then, so the tape distance is equal to 667, and then the pace distance is equal to 666.35.80, which is from here. Okay, so the next one is. RP, so the relative, the formula of relative precision is equal to tape distance minus PD over T. So, um, direct substitution. So, then, para makuha nyo yung relative precision, you will use this formula. And then, you will get this after, kapag, ano, ginamit nyo yung calculator. So, try to, um, try to exercise your hands um, using the calculator para mas master nyo kung mas, mas master nyo yung pagsasolve so, okay so try it and verify if tama yung value na nakuha natin and the next sample problem is about by distance by taking so Horizontal distance of 325.71 meters is to be established along a line that slopes at a vertical angle of 30 degrees, 6 minutes, and 0 seconds. What slope distance should be laid out? So, again, for example, this is the horizontal distance. Um, ito ha, hindi ito. For example, this is the point one. Yeah, point one. And then the point two is here. Yeah. You take so, hindi po ito ang horizontal distance. This is not a horizontal distance. Ito po ang horizontal distance. Ayan. From point to the one. And of course, this is the angle or the slope. This is this one point A. I I know angle A. Yeah, so as you can see, mga kabuo tayo dito ng triangle. So may ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. So horizontal distance is equal to three hundred twenty-five point seven feet. And then, uh, vertical angle is 13 
degrees zero Celsius and distance to be laid out along the slope to obtain the required horizontal distance. The next one is cosine A is equal to T over T. Okay, so ang um, value para mas maget nyo yun yung horizontal distance and then yung letter B is uh, distance to be laid along the slope to obtain the required horizontal distance. So this is B. Para makuha yan, you need to know kung ano yung trigonometric um, trigonometric equation para makuha nyo yung distance na hinahanap natin. Para makuha yan, you need to use the cosine which is the cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse or dito sa ano natin B is equal to B over cos A and then and then it is 325 yeah, cos over cos A so this is equal to 334 times 45 that's the final answer. So it is very easy to identify, especially if you know how to use the, the trigonometric equations. So please don't forget the basic mathematics because it is very useful, lalo na sa subject natin ngayon. So, I think that it and that this is the final answer and so this is the end of my presentation I hope you will learn something you learn something thank you so much for listening and see you